What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, we're talking the recent information that's come out about StockX. So stay tuned. Open one day, I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but to start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. All right, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do, man. Go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right. So let's dive in today's video, right? Okay, we're talking the current information that's come out about StockX as far as them being sued and the former CEO stepping on and stepping out and leaving the company as a whole now. He's completely gone, right? Okay, so obviously you guys, if you're in the sneaker community, you could have not been living under a rock and not have seen this, right? It's been kind of semi-quiet, but at the same time, if you're just a sneaker head or you're just in the sneakers, you know right now, two things you have to know about StockX is, one, the former, I think he was the co-CEO, right? Josh Luber, I believe his name is. He stepped down as a CEO at one point, and then he just kind of came to face of StockX, but now recently he just left the stock, he just left StockX in general, right? Okay, he's no longer a part of the company. And, you know, I don't know if you guys remember, but he actually was on full size run here a little while ago, not too while ago, to the best of my knowledge, right? Okay, uh, I think before everything shut down, before, uh, before the pandemic. Now, you know, they asked him questions about, you know, the security breach that happened last year in 2019, right? Okay, and he didn't really have much information to give about it. Granted, I understand for legal reasons he most likely could not have. So it's come out that he's left the company. I just find it weird that he basically helped build this company StockX from the ground up and now he's actually like gone, right? He just left away. I'm pretty sure he got a nice little healthy check, you know what I'm saying, on the way out the door as well, as he should, as he should. And then a few days later, we come out that, you know, StockX is facing a class action lawsuit, right? Okay, for the security breach that happened back in 2019. So that's it in a nutshell for as far as what's going on. Now, what to expect, I have no idea. Now, it's no secret that StockX has been dropping the ball lately, right? Okay. And when I say dropping the ball, I mean it's like more and more fakes start to slide through the cracks. Um, not even, I don't even think that was becoming like the bigger, bigger issue. I think the biggest issue was as far as one, that security breach where lots of people's information was stolen, including their money, right? Okay. To the best of my knowledge, in my opinion, to what I researched, right? Okay. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me down in the comment section. However, that's one, that's what they're being sued for the, uh, class action lawsuit, which I'm pretty sure both parties are lawyered up and I don't know what's to come on that. I don't know who's going to get the better end or how things are going to come out. So that's just more information for sure. And or we can also talk about as far as StockX dropping the ball. I mean, as far as like, let's face it, those huge shipping delays from whenever you place your order and or even people taking forever to receive their payout when they sell something on their site. Right. OK, so that's been the biggest complaints I've seen across the board. And I've only used StockX once, right? Okay, I'll just keep it there. Like I'm not a StockX fanboy. I've never been a super fan of StockX in the first place, right? Okay, or GOAT or any of those resale companies because they're just, yeah, I'm gonna take, I'm not gonna take it there. Y'all know how I feel about it. If you're new to the channel, just know that I'm not a big fan of the resale community, right? Okay, and I'll just keep it there. But I will say this. And StockX Defense, when it first came out, on paper, StockX sound amazing, right? Everything right there at your fingertips. You can see what everything was going for. And let's face it, I thought at one point StockX was gonna really kind of hurt like the little local resale shops. You know, it's such like, it's like, you know, others like, like we can put like any resale shop out there as a matter of fact i thought it was going to kind of hurt them because everybody was going to start going to stock x but actually in actuality it really helped everybody because you could see actually what the current market price was for the seat for any sneaker being resold at right okay and i always find that a little bit of a gray area for me whether i want to believe that or not because StockX, I'm not saying they withhold information. I just didn't like their whole bidding process, right? Okay, like it would just say that somebody's, this is the current highest bid, 
but you didn't know how many people had bid it on it and this and the third. So what I'm trying to say, there was always, and this is probably for any company, right? Okay, I'm not just gonna pick at StockX here. There's always room for improvement, right? But it just seems that StockX slowly declined. They made it up there to the top, right? Cause they were, they were considered that main company at one point, right? Okay, and to some people still are. And then now things are kind of, you know, I don't know where they're headed, but it's not looking good, right? Okay, so they're keeping quiet and, you know, making it appear as though everything is smooth sailing, but I think it's safe to say it's not, right? Okay, so we gotta keep our eyes on this. I know a lot of people are happy. So, you know, as far as happy as like, maybe things are gonna change better in the resale market, but I highly doubt that this is gonna change it, right? Okay, um, I don't know personally. So, you know, I just wanna get you guys' thoughts and opinion on what do you think the future of StockX reselling sneakers is going and where it's headed, you know what I mean? I know it's not been great lately. Do you think it's gonna, how is it gonna affect the resale community? How is it gonna affect the sneaker community? So I just wanna have an open discussion today about that. Let me know down in the comment section for sure. Me, personally, I have no idea right now, man, because there seem like they're gonna stay afloat, but I don't know. Lawsuits and stuff can get very tricky and and or could take a long time right okay because let's keep in mind that this lawsuit wasn't filed in 2020 it was filed in 2019 we're just now hearing about it right okay so that lets you know it's already been over a year already so sometimes these things take several years to work themselves out right and i just want to go through that because that's how great our law system is right anyway Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, man, and stop rambling, man. I just want to get you guys' thoughts and opinions on the current state of StockX and how you feel about it and or did you even know about it to begin with, right? Okay, y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out. Whoa, man, I just woke up from a fat nap, <laughs> so I'm going to make raps. In my room. <laughs>